Hi, I'm Gernot. In this video, I want to show you how to manipulate multiple scenes of your live set with Liquid Notes for Live. As you can see, we've already started both Live and Liquid Notes. In Live, we've loaded the Liquid Notes tutorial project. It's already set up to work with Liquid Notes. On each instrument track, there is a LM Bridge track device. And additionally, there is an empty MIDI track with a LM Bridge global device. If you'd like more detailed information on how to configure your set for use with Liquid Notes, please refer to the video How to get started with Liquid Notes for Live, which you can also find on our YouTube channel. To be able to modify clips in Liquid Notes, you first have to import them. So in Live, make sure that the scene which contains those clips is selected and then hit Get Clips in Liquid Notes. In the wizard, click Finish, and here we are. Before we start applying some Liquid Notes magic, let's get an impression of how the music sounds originally. Okay, that's quite cool, but let's look at what we can do out of this with Liquid Notes by performing some chord substitutions, adding tensions or changing the chord function. By default, after you modify a chord, Liquid Notes plays a short preview so you get an impression of the new sound. You can also deactivate this behavior in the general settings. Now let's hear how the current changes sound like when played as a whole through live. You can also perform changes during playback. This is a great way to make variations to your sound during a live performance. Notice that the automatic chord preview is disabled in this case. have to export them from Liquid Notes. In a future version, we'll add a feature to simply drag and drop the project from Liquid Notes onto Live. But for now, click on File, Export MIDI File, there enter a file name and click Save. After that, uh, drag the saved file onto Live. Here we go. Now there's a new scene in life with the changes from Liquid Notes. So let's continue with modifying another scene from our tutorial project. For example, this one. After selecting it, you have to import it again in Liquid Notes. If you don't do that, listen what happens. If a Liquid Notes device is assigned to a track, the notes which are played on this track are fully controlled by Liquid Notes. So you'll always hear the scene that is currently loaded in Liquid Notes played by those tracks. Also note that when you have no scene loaded in Liquid Notes, the tracks with the Liquid Notes devices of course won't get any notes and remain silent during playback. As you can hear now. Note that uh, you still hear the audio clip because there is no Liquid Notes device assigned to that track. So as I said, uh, click Get Clips in Liquid Notes again with the newly se uh, scene selected. And finish in the wizard. And now you can work with the newly selected scene just as we described before. So that's it. That were the necessary steps for working with multiple scenes and transferring changes you've made in Liquid Notes back to life. Thanks for watching.